good everybody it's your boy with the tree the okc chris with a k back with another video yo as y'all can tell by the title of this video it's another rosin review if you the person with the tree where you be in your city or state get this video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe do all that good stuff so that you can go ahead and be associated with the channel you never miss a video all right y'all so today man like i said we're gonna be taking a look at the cicada cicada i don't even know how you pronounce it man it's one of them two like i said i say cicada so this is some cicada labs as y'all can see this is london pound mints from snacklands you know what i'm saying now snacklands is one of these brands in oklahoma that's like they're supposed to be gas. Like I'm, when I say this, I don't mean any disrespect or any rudeness when I do my little things like this. It's just like, you know, this is just one of the brands that's supposed to be top, top tier, top level. So uh, just like in the last video, y'all see, uh, it has this green uh, like fly looking thing on it. It's completely sealed so that we know it's new, all that good stuff. And the crazy thing is, is the outdoor flower of this brand has like a purple, looking um tent instead of it being green so that's how you know if it's indoor versus like greenhouse i don't think they have outdoor i think it's just greenhouse and indoor yeah let's go ahead and open this thing up here and the crazy thing matter of fact uh, as i open this up here like i said we know this is brand new the crazy thing is i don't know if you guys are able to see this on the side right here if not, I'm going to throw a, throw a picture back up here with the testing and everything. And the, this is a $100 gram of wax. You know what I'm saying? It retails at $100. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, you guys. If y'all could see this right here. I mean, y'all can pretty much see it, how, how golden brown it is. It's not super, super light. It looks just like it does in the camera. This is by far two of my favorite strains on the planet. I love London Pound Cake and I love Cushman. So these combined definitely are going to be good. So let's go ahead and turn on the good old Puffco right here. But speaking of Puffco, I don't know if you guys have uh, paid any attention, but they shut down their website. Uh, as for me, it would have been as of yesterday. Uh, they shut down their website yesterday because they're behind on orders because everyone's behind on orders uh, for the most part. Like I ordered a Thunder jersey, as y'all can see, I'm an Oklahoma City person. I ordered a Thunder jersey, like they're, even though we're trash, don't say nothing in the comments, we've been trash before. Um, but I ordered a jersey and it's custom and I'm gonna show y'all when it come in. But I ordered that jersey like two months ago and it's still just processing, like from the Thunder website. So like, I mean, they took my money and all, but I'm still waiting on this jersey. But yeah, as y'all can see, that is about the size. I'm trying to keep this in the camera, it's kind of hard. That's the size of the dab that we're gonna go ahead and put on there. Let's go ahead and look. You know what? I'm gonna do something different this time. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing and we're gonna do a hot start and I'm gonna drop it in there when it's already ready to go. I normally don't do that. I normally put it in there and let it heat up, but you know, I'm feeling risque today. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. But if y'all are at home, if you're smoking a blunt or if you're getting ready to hit a dab or you're getting ready to do something like that, go ahead and get your torches ready, get your dab tools ready. If you don't have a hot knife yet, you definitely should get one. It makes things a lot easier. Let's go y'all, cheers. I love rosin because of how smooth it is. And there's a big old puddle in here. So I'm actually, I'm gonna turn it down so it's not burning as high, but there's a puddle in here and we are going to take another tote for sure. I, I you know, I put these guys uh, in my, in the corner, I'm gonna throw them up here again. Y'all go follow them on Instagram, bro. Like they by far are my favorite rosin processor in Oklahoma, their products are great. Like I said, this one's powered by Snack Slam. Um, they they have a bunch of different companies that they uh, make rosin for if their flour is good enough. Um, Cause like I said, I know it takes good quality flour 
to pretty much make rosin or rosin is more expensive at least to make than like live resin or cured resin but let's go ahead and reheat this bad boy up right here because i just realized i was that's that's how i know this is working and this is some gas it's because i thought i was reheating this already and i wasn't but it just vibrated let's get it one more time cheers guys But you guys, the one thing that I do like about rosin, and I've said this before in a previous video, is I love how smooth the hits are. Like, it's it's very planty. It tastes more like plant, more like flower, more, I, it, that's the best way I can put it. It tastes more like flower. Like, don't get me wrong. I do believe that live resin is more terpy, but, I believe that this is, it's more, it feels more like flour. It tastes more like flour. I feel like it is less terpy, which is what makes it more smooth. This is my opinion. I could be wrong. Correct me down in the comments, you know, let me know. I know some of y'all are some weedologists out there, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a dispensary manager, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh, this goes, this is by far, y'all know, this gets the stamp. If it got the fly, it gets me high. That's how it works. With this shit right here, you know what I'm saying? The fly gets high, you know what I'm saying? Shit is gas, man. 100% gets the stamp of approval all day, every day. I've, I've had about five of their, their strains. Um, like I said, I've done videos. This is the second one. Anytime I get one of their brands, I'm gonna do a video on it, but you know, they are on the pricey side. So it kind of just depends on when I get them or if they come drop them off as samples. But they ain't even came and hit us up yet, so. Hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we'll get them in my store. We can do some dispensary vlogs, do some pop-ups, get to meet them. Who knows, man? Maybe soon. Hey, man, hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. It's your boy with the tree and OKC, Chris with a K. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace. It's for my niggas. Niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I said it's for my niggas. Niggas. Yeah. Niggas. Oh, 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 oh. This for my niggas. This for my yeah. This for my nick. This for my nick. This for my nick. This for my nick. This for my.